Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Ashley with In Broadcast, joining me is Dan of BirdDog.TV. Nice to uh, see you. Great to see you again. Yes, you too. So tell me, what's your company's current position right now in the media and broadcasting industry? So in terms of our position in the industry, we've uh, been really instrumental in how NDIs come out. We were the very first people to put NDI into a piece of hardware. And we've really been developing that over the last seven years now. Um, so for us, innovation has always been with what we're doing. And we keep finding new ways to make network-based video production more convenient, easier, more cost effective. So at this show, we've got some really great new examples of that. So. Yeah, so tell me about some of those. You have lots of new products. What are you highlighting right now? Uh, so we've got a lot of exciting stuff. So um, we're mainly known for our cameras, and we've got a great new range of cameras. They're called the, um, the X series of cameras. And so they're now Wi-Fi based uh, PTZ cameras that work with NDI. And that means you can put them anywhere, uh, as well as running them on a network if you wanted to. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of new convenience features. The tally light that we've got, you might be able to see it behind me, is a really big, bright tally light, so you know exactly which camera you're looking at. Makes the talent look a whole lot better. It's got an e-ink display on there so you can see from a production point of view which camera is the right one. You can even brand that up with your own logo. And then it's got this cool new feature where you can actually decode uh, video back off the camera as well. So if you had a teleprompter, for example, you just need the camera and you can take the output of that camera as your teleprompter output and it allows you to have everything kind of built into one. And the, the real, the beauty of working with networking and NDI is you don't need to have all these cables and mess. And we keep finding new ways of getting less and less cables, which is fantastic. So the camera range is probably one of our more exciting things, but we've also got a great post-production story as well. Um, last NAB, we announced a, uh, Adobe integration within our cloud platform for remote over-the-shoulder editing, uh, where a producer can monitor things anywhere they are, talk directly with the editor. We've now got that for Avid Media Composer as well with their new panel system. So it's a, a really exciting way for a producer and an editor to collaborate using you know, our technology anywhere in the world. They don't need to be in the same edit suite anymore. Yeah. Wow, lots of things. That's very cool. And the, the one last one, which uh, is, might be a little bit curveball, is our medical solution. We've got a product that we call Remedy, uh, and that product allows you to, uh, to do that same kind of collaboration I was talking about with editors, but the interface and the way it's designed is to work in operating theatres. So surgeons and specialists or medical device companies can train people on how they do things inside an operating theatre. So it's a really easy to use interface that uses all of our technology with wireless cameras so people don't get tripped over on cables. Uh, it allows a lot more knowledge exchange in that medical space. And that's becoming really popular in you know, operating theatres, as like I said, as well as medical device manufacturers for training. So. Yeah. That was super cool. I love all of that. Very neat. Great. Yeah. I feel like it's very different from everything out here that I'm hearing. Yes, there's a lot um, going on. Can, it, can you tell us a little bit about what to expect in the future? You already have so much currently, but... Look, I think uh, for us, uh, it's all about bringing things together to make a, a production more easy and convenient. One thing that we have seen with people shifting into network-based, you've got a different kind of uh, skill set that people need. And so having uh, that learning that goes on, being able to get something that works successfully on a network, maybe not be as easy as people think. A traditional broadcast engineer doesn't necessarily know how to administer a network. So for us, we're now moving into how that can really be a whole lot easier to manage uh, and make it easier to get a system up and running. Acknowledging that our customers don't want to use our products because they look cool, they want to get an outcome from it. So making that as easy as possible. Uh, the other thing really, buzzword everywhere is AI. So yeah, we've got AI built into our new cameras that do auto framing and auto tracking. But I think there's a lot more that can happen with that in video production. So that's really where we're heading. So. Sounds like you're ahead of it, I love it. So thank you so much for speaking with us today. Really happy to be here, thank, thank you. you.